Hi everyone, Chris here from Easel. How cool are animated GIFs and stickers? We've all seen them being used on Instagram stories and reels, but ever wondered how to make your own? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to create a uniquely branded GIF sticker to use on your social feeds, plus three very easy and awesome ways to animate them. Let's get started. So first of all, we wanna open a blank document. Today I'm going to create a sticker to announce an upcoming live show guest. So using a GIF animation to highlight an announcement or a call to action is perfect. I'm going to start by adding in my background element. So I'm going to go up to the graphics tab here, search for something like blob and some cool organic shapes will come up. I'm just going to scroll down and choose something like this red one here. I'll just position that on my screen nice and big. Just move that around slightly so it's kind of in the center. And then I want to turn my background color to transparent. So I'll click off the element and I'll just go up to the color picker and turn my background color off using this little crossed out palette and that will be transparent. And then I want to start adding in my text. So I'll go up to the text tab here, click on add text and I'll just make that a little bigger so we can all see it and I'll type in something like live. So that's my announcement. That's the thing I'm announcing. I'll just make that nice and big and tidy up this text box. Um, then I'm going to go and duplicate that text box and I'll type in with. And I'll just make that a little bit smaller and then I'll duplicate the with again. And then I'm going to add in my special guest name. So I'm going to just extend that text box out a bit. And then I'll make that Jerry Williams and make that a little bit bigger. I want to highlight that, um, that guest speaker name a little bit more. So I'll just go to the graphics tab and search for something like banner. And when those results come up, I'll pick something like this pink banner here and I'll just sort of position that over my text, then go to my layers and I'll drop that banner behind so you can see that the guest name is highlighted in that banner and I can select both of them make them a little bit bigger I might just put this width down here I might make that live a little bit bigger as well now also what I want to do is update the font so I might just click on that live font I'll scroll down and search for something like Barlow I'll go for this Barlow Condensed. I'll tidy up those text frames and let's make that you know, nice and big so it stands out. And then with my other text, I might just change it to something like Poppins. And you can see I selected both of them at once and I can change both of those fonts at once if I select them both. And then what I might do is just change my guest name to something a little bit bolder. That's nice. I'm pretty happy with the positioning of that sticker. I might just shift everything down just a little bit. And what I want to do also is add a little broadcasting icon. So I might just go back to my graphics and search for something like live. And you can see this little broadcasting icon pops up. So I'll just put that maybe there. I can even grab that blob in the background and give it a bit of rotation something maybe like that's pretty cool and I get that broadcasting icon there and then I might just change that to white and I'll just go to my color picker just go to white and then I want to update my design using my brand colors so I want to change this blob to one of my brand colors so that's my brand color that purple let's change that text to the pink and let's put this banner in white as well So I'm just going to give that live a little bit of a drop shadow. So I'll just go to hard on the drop shadow and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll just click off that. Now I'm happy with that sticker design. I'll show you three super easy ways to animate it. So what I'm going to do is change up our live text into different typefaces. So the first one I'm happy with, so that was our Barlow font. So I'll keep that as is, but I'm going to copy the page. So now I have two pages. 
I'm gonna click on that live and I'm gonna change the font to something like Brusher, which is a cool little hand-drawn typeface. So I can still change the position of it, keeping it sort of within our sticker area. And then what I wanna do again is make another copy of that page. So I'll just click this copy again. So now I've got the original Barlow, I've got the new brusher, and now I'm gonna change this font into something like Limelight, which is a really cool sort of vintage Art Deco font. So I'll just bring that in from the edge a little bit. I really don't wanna change up my guest speaker name, which is in the banner or the width, but I do want the live to animate or run through a sequence when it animates as a GIF. So I'm pretty happy with those three different typefaces. So that's the Barlow, the Brusher, and the Limelight. And now what I wanna do is go up to download up here, select GIF, and I'll just select the speed as fast. And then what I wanna do is hit download. When that downloads, I'll just open it up in Finder and drop it onto Chrome and you can see how that little sticker animates. Super cool way of getting a really cool animated sticker. The second way we're gonna animate our sticker is by giving it a really cool pulsating effect. So I'm gonna keep the original page as is, but I'm gonna make a duplicate. So I'll just duplicate the page here. And then I can either scroll over all the elements to select them all at once, or I can go into my layers and by holding down the shift as I'm selecting them, you can see how all the layers are selected. Then I just wanna bring it in a bit from the corners and make everything slightly smaller on the second page. So you can see that there's two pages, the original and one slightly smaller. I'm gonna duplicate that again. I'm gonna scroll over everything drag it in from the corners and make it slightly smaller again and just align it into the center of my artboard. Then all I have to do is go to download, go to GIF, scroll down in the speed to fast and select download. Once that's downloaded, I'll open it up in Finder and then I'll just drop it into Chrome and you can see a really cool, simple, and very, very effective effect on a GIF animation. So the third way we're gonna animate our sticker is slightly more complex. We're gonna um, move the background slightly. We're gonna make our banner flash, and we're gonna add a gradient into our hero text. So I'm gonna click on a hero text first, go up to the mask in the top action bar, and that opens up images. So I'll just search for something like gradient. So you could do this with all sorts of images in your text, whether it's sparkles or glitter, but in this case, I'm gonna use gradient and I'll just scroll down to this yellowy pink one and I'll just click on that. That's gonna apply into my text here. And then I'll just go up to my filters and click on normal so it's nice and bright. Then I'll go back and click on crop and I'll just shift that gradient all the way down to the bottom and click on crop again. And then what I wanna do is create another page now. So I'll duplicate that page to get my two pages in a sequence. And then I'll click on my hero text again, go up to mask, click on crop and shift that gradient up and then click on crop again. So I've got two different gradients in the live and now I'm gonna rotate that background element just slightly. So I'll just give it a slight rotation and I'll update the colors in my banner. So I'll make that black and I'll make my text white. So I've only got two pages here, but when I download it, you'll see how effective it is. So I'll go to download, go to GIF, go to fast and click download. Once that downloads, I'll open it up in my Finder and I'll drop that into Chrome so I can see how that's looking. So that's another effective way of putting a gradient into your text and getting a flashing banner on your sticker animation. So that's just one way to design your own sticker and three super easy ways to turn it into an animated GIF. I hope this gives you some inspiration to create a heap more branded GIFs of your own and to learn more about how to use them, follow the link to our blog at about.easel.com. 
Check out our other videos for more tips like these. Leave a comment below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the content and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks heaps for watching.